Hello, this is Jason Chenier, and I'm the editorial designer here at Our State. I recently had the opportunity to create illustrations for each of the seven fiction stories featured in our 2012 December Christmas issue. The first step in creating the illustrations was to get familiarized with each story. I read each story more than once, taking notes along the way and gathering ideas that I felt would translate visually. Next I did quick conceptual doodles that provided a visual reference and helped in planning discussions with our art director and editor-in-chief. Then I sketched out ideas to develop final compositions. We decided that using a pen and ink wash technique would keep a consistent monochromatic color scheme across the board. So once the final composition was drawn up, I transferred it in pencil onto watercolor paper with the aid of a light box. With faint pencil lines in place, it was time for ink. I chose a dark brown India ink to achieve warm tones and decided on using a dip pen for a more old-fashioned approach. The very darkest part of each illustration was done with the pen, laying down the undiluted ink and dipping the pen into the ink bottle for a refill each time it went dry. This step provided the overall outline drawing as well as some underlying texture. After inking in the pen lines, it was time for the ink washes, which is essentially watercolor painting. I had pre-mixed three different darkness levels of wash simply by combining the India ink and water in three different ratios to achieve light, medium, and dark wash tones. I started with the lightest wash tone first and then I overlaid the medium tone. I applied the darkest wash tone next to push the shadow areas. Lastly, I went back over certain areas with subsequent ink washes to help further push the tonal range. In this particular illustration I included a small detail the tree-shaped cutout in the door of the outhouse. Whenever possible, I tried to include some sort of conceptual hook, an unexpected element or subtle twist to play off of ideas in the stories. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this glimpse behind the scenes into my process. Thanks for watching.